and as president, I can report to the nation, aggression is defeated, the war is over. Good day, diorama enthusiasts. If you noticed, I had to double the speed of the video shots to compress running time. Please forgive me as I had to build two kits for this project. This was a project I did for our local Operation Desert Storm group build for 2021. I initially wanted to do an M1A1 Abrams, but I was not so familiar with the accuracy and technicalities, so I decided to opt for the safer trumpeter LAV25 Piranha. I used two figure sets from Dragon and Tamiya as they had the available Gulf War theme, then the M1025 Humvee of Academy. If you notice, I am going through my personal process or stages on diorama building. First stage is the concept, second stage is the material sourcing and testing, third stage is building the kits, fourth stage layout design, and then last or the fifth stage is a painting.
I thought I could include the figs provided in the temporary kit. I realized its uniform were from the Iraqi Freedom Operation. Obviously minor figure modifications were done, especially the CNN camera crew, the soldiers holding a flag, and waving the V sign. I really prefer the dragon figures over the old Mount Tamiya as they were more crisp in detail and anatomically correct. I decided to use a decent baseboard for the diorama, which I bought from a good friend. The groundwork for the diorama is slowly taking shape. It's styrofoam, baseboard glued together. Ah, don't forget to mask the edges. I then place the mold mix for the desert ground. With toothpicks serving as marker for the placement of kits, I proceeded to use the Humvee wheels to mark the ground depression and or tracks. In this stage, I'm checking the layout design which is stage 4 mod process. Notice that everything is still not painted.
I used a wide variety of paint mediums including pastels and pigments. I found the base paint to be pale so I decided to filter it with the dark brown oil mix. The gun barrel of the Trumpeter LAV25 kit were fluted, and this was not representative of the time, so I improvised. Adding the soaked toilet paper to serve as the orange tarp will make the kit more visually interesting. Besides, this orange tarp were used then in the Gulf War to avoid friendly fire, both from the ground and in the air. These nail stickers served as the kit's reflectorized sights.
oil dotting is used to unify or blend the tricolor paints. War is never a rosy picture, so instead of doing an action scene, I depicted a victorious U.S. military. This was a time when CNN made possible to see the war firsthand globally 24-7. And as president, I can report to the nation, aggression is defeated, the war is over.
Thanks for watching. Scale modeling is fun. Copyright 2020 at Ivanthe Terrible. I am not an expert but I love creating dioramas. See you on my next build.